Hi everyone and welcome to this new speed build in The Sims 4. Today I'm building a colonial inspired house and this house was built with Henry and Lee in mind, two sims from my Let's Play The Sims 4 that follows the Baker family. If you haven't seen that series yet, I will leave a link to it in the description for you to go and check it out. So with this house, I wanted to play around with the traditional aspect of the American colonial style and a little bit of the artistic and patchwork kind of look since both Henry and Lee are quite artistic. And if you don't know who they are, Henry Baker is a detective, very romantic and family oriented, who wants to have a family life one day in a big house just like his parents did, kind of. He's also very much into photography. And as for Lee Wilkerson, his husband, he is a freelance artist who hopes to one day open his own art gallery, but he also wants to have, of course, a family as well and live in a beautiful house that he would own rather than living in a small space that's very difficult to personalize. At first, actually, I thought having them move in a tiny house because when I started bringing up the subject of them having their own house one day, that pack just came out and that's all I wanted to play with, but I've always seen Henry and Lee living in a big house of this colonial style and I have no idea why, but I thought that since the both of them are quite artistic, especially Lee, of course, there could have been some kind of twist to their house. But until I started furnishing it, I didn't know what I could go with that would make this house stand out more than the others. When it comes to the basic shape and aspect of the house, it's highly inspired from pictures I saw of colonial type homes, since I never saw one myself in real life. And I basically just built two rectangles and then decorated them, and I'm honestly really happy with this house. Except with the fence that I will go with for the front of the house that I think makes the house look a little bit too much like a dollhouse, and I'm not sure I'm going to keep that in. I might just switch it for the picket fence that came with the backyard stuff back before I upload it to the gallery, but I'm not sure. That fence was actually highly inspired by a couple of pictures of colonial homes I saw and I thought I it added some kind of details to the house rather than having this big brick and white wall with windows on it and I still like the idea, I'm just not sure about the style of the fence. I haven't taken the screenshot for this build yet, so I guess this will be a surprise for everyone at the end of the video. And the last house I built, which was the 4 Honeydew Road, a townhouse I built in Brightchester, it really inspired me and made me want to build houses with plain walls and try to decorate them a bit more rather than adding just 2, 3 or even 4 squares of room all over the place to add some depth to the house. Although the colonial style isn't highly decorated, I think I still managed to make it look not as plain. I also added a sunroom, which I had no idea what to do with at first. I just wanted to have one because it's been a while since I built any. And in the end, I will make it as Lee's art studio because I thought that, well, with all the light and the view that he would have from this room, this would inspire him, you know? He would be like in his own world, separated from everyone else, and yet part of the sim world at the same time and be able to paint it. You will also see that for this build, I for once worked on one room at a time. Because usually I go, I kind of go all over the place and start working on a room and then I have an idea for another so I move quickly onto that other room before I forget what I thought of, before I even finished working on the first room that I will come back to eventually, after I moved on to probably a couple more rooms. Anyway, when I build I'm usually kind of all over the place but I still manage to make things look a bit, log a bit more logical when I edit the, the footage of my builds. But this time I didn't have to because for some reason each room just came together really well and I finally managed to focus on only one room at a time which I hope is going to make this voice over a bit easier to do for me and this build more enjoyable to watch for you guys. So this house has three bedrooms although I will furnish one, one of them as a home gym with only a punching bag I think in it. I'm actually not sure if this is the English term now for it but I'm sure you know what I mean by that. There will be of course as well a master bedroom and a child's bedroom that I had that I furnished for a child because that's what I felt inspired for at the time but I think that when I will have Henry and Lee move into this house I will just remove everything in it because I have no idea right now if I want for them to adopt a baby, a toddler or a child but we're not there yet in the series I even have no idea when I'm going to have them move into this house also, I wanted to talk quickly about this series because I'm thinking about taking a little break from it. Not for too long though, just for a few weeks because I've been thinking about starting a new series for a while now, but I currently have three series going on on the channel and I don't want to add too much on my plate and overwhelm myself with too many series. 
And there is also another project that I would like to work on, but because of all the series that I currently have going on, I struggle to find the time to work on it, so... I'm thinking that when we'll reach the point of New Year's Eve in the series, I will take a little break from the Baker family to be able to work on a couple of other, other projects I have been thinking of for a while now, but also get some fresh ideas for what to do next with this series, and finally build Henry and Lee's art gallery because I cannot find the time to work on that either. I've been playing with this family for a few months as well, so I need to refresh a bit, I think, before I get bored with them, which is not the case right now, but I don't want for it to happen, so I think a little break is going to be great. What I'm thinking for now is that as soon as I end my Realm of Magic series, I will bring back the family for sure. Hopefully by then I will have worked on the couple builds I want to work on for this series, but that break shouldn't take place for at least a month from now. I think, depending on how well I manage my time. But I really wanted to take the time to talk about that quickly, but I will probably talk about this in the next part of the series as well. But anyway, going back to the build now. At first, I started working on the garden, and I will put of course an eating area with a barbecue and a rounded table that came with the backyard stuff back, thinking that Henry would love for his family to come in the summer and have barbecues together or even throw parties with friends. Anyway, I thought that they would need a lot of sitting places around that table. I also thought about placing a lot of toddler and children items in, the, in this backyard, but in, in the end it actually ended up being too small for that. Although when Henry and Lee will adopt, which they will, that's something I really want for them to do in the future. Hopefully not too far future though. But yeah, when they will adopt a child, I will probably just go ahead and put some items in the garden for them to play with anyway. I've also placed a couple lounge chairs and a bird feeder with a bird water fountain, kind of. I put some garden planners as well, even though neither Henry nor Lee garden. I thought that just in case, you know, if they wanted to start a garden one day, plus, you know, they're both very creative sims, and for some reason, sims in The Sims 4, when they're creative, they want to plant stuff all over the place, and I just... I just cannot build a house without having garden planners anyway. I always have my sims garden for some reason. I don't garden myself and I think I'm pretty bad at it, but I love having my sims do it. I also went ahead and put a clothesline at the very back of the garden and there's also a gate at the back that can be used to go to the community area of the at the back of this neighborhood of Willow Creek. I'm actually thinking having Henry and me move back to Willow Creek actually because I couldn't find a good spot for their house in Newcrest. All the spots I love are already taken and I don't want to move things around too much because I placed those lots where I thought they would be just perfect. So I think that Henry is just going to move closer to his family, but with what happened in the last part of the series, I think it makes sense since Henry is very family oriented. Now I'm moving on to the interior of the house and I started by working on the entrance area. This room, as you can see, is really small, but that's when I started furnishing it that I realized that I had no idea what to do with the furnishing of this house. So I went scrolling through the catalog for a while to see what I felt like using, and I of course cut that out of the final footage because that lasted for a little while, actually. But then, when I came across this side table that came with the movie Hangout Stuff Pack, I think, that's when I thought that for the style of the house inside, I could go with the idea that Lee just decided to use old furniture that he found maybe at the flea market and renovated them to furnish his home. And I love that idea. I thought this would be a good way for me to try and mix and match a bunch of items that I usually never use. So the furnishing of this home is going to be very colorful and with furniture that are of a very different style each. But I really, really like that. I really think that it, it is what Lee needed to really start expressing his creative style in his home because the house they currently live in is a house I built a while ago. And the way I see it, they don't own this house. They just rent it for now and they didn't even get to choose the furniture inside. But when they will finally be able to move in here, Lee will finally let himself go and decorate the house the way he's always wanted to. And I don't think Henry would mind that that much actually. I don't see him being very materialistic at all, and I'm sure that he wouldn't- he would like, you know, to spend most of his time outside anyway. And in any case, I don't think he would care, so if Lee wants to take care of the furnishing, he will let his husband do as he pleases. For the upstairs, I just placed a sofa and a child's game on the landing area. I was really imagining Henry and Lee enjoying some family time together with their child up there. Although I really struggled to figure out which rug to go with because I wanted something that would look old but still go with the rest of the furniture upstairs. 
So I will try to... I will try so many different rugs up there. And in the end, I will go with the Strangeville one, which I usually never use. But once again, I felt like this house was just the perfect, the perfect place to experiment a little bit more. Also, you will see that at first, I will not put anything on the walls. And that was on purpose. As I said earlier, and as you probably know if you watch the series, Lee is a painter and I thought that he would just put his paintings all around the house, but eventually I will change my mind and just put some decorations on the wall. That's the only time when I will go back and forth from room to room. Then I'm moving on to the living and dining area and I'm really happy with this area of the house. I like all of the colors I used, the furniture... Although I still find this area kind of empty, but I think that through gameplay this room will be... It will have some things be added onto it. As usual, I really struggled to figure out which wallpaper to use though. I never really know which one to go with anyway. I don't know why wallpapers are so difficult to figure out. I don't want to use just a simple white wallpaper because I really find that sad and that's what you see most of the time now in real houses. But I feel like whenever you use a color, it determines already which color you will have and won't be able to use with the furniture in the room. So for this room, I went with this bluish gray wallpaper with white trims to have this idea of white wallpaper, but not too much. I have no idea what I'm saying makes sense, but anyway. I first started working on the dining space and I will go ahead and use the parenthood table, but this time I went with a swatch that I usually never use because I find it very difficult to match it with dining chairs, even the ones that came with parenthood. But this time I thought that Lee just loved the way it looks and knew that he would he would manage to find the perfect dining dining chairs to go along with it and he did in a way because i decided to actually go with the movie hangout chairs that i haven't used in a long time i think i actually used a lot of items from that pack in this house but these items just have this perfect look of rundown and renovated piece of furniture that i wanted to go with for this house for the living space, as you can see, I used the sofa and I will use the armchairs that came with the movie hangout stuff back and I matched them with the Realm of Magic coffee table. I would have never thought that these two packs would go together so well, but they do because the color of the wood actually is really close for the, the items of these two packs, which helps a lot with using them together. For the color themes I went with in the living area, it's a bit more in the pink, red and purple and in the dining area, it's a bit more in the greens. The table, the chairs, and the bar that I used that came with Get Famous help a lot with that. These two color themes actually go really well together and the red, pink, and purple can also be seen on the dining chairs, so this room is just very vibrant. But to me, it's not too shocking and I think it represents Lee and Henry pretty well for some reason. As you can see as well, I haven't put a whole lot of decoration in this room. And I said that a lot, but I personally don't like playing in a cluttered space in my game and since this house is going to be used in my Let's Play, I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't feel claustrophobic when playing in it. Although now I feel like it's a little bit too empty, but when I will put the, the paintings on the walls, it will help with that feel of emptiness a little bit. I think also that the fact that I didn't put a rug under the dining table emphasizes this feel. But I don't really like putting rugs under dining tables anymore because realistically speaking, I think this would be the worst place to put a rug because food would fall on it regularly and cleaning a rug is a real pain. And I know it's The Sims and technically this would never happen in the game, but I like putting those little realistic notes and details. It makes the game a bit more enjoyable to me and sometimes a bit more realistic. Now I'm moving on to the kitchen and this time, rather than using items that could have been found at the flea market, I decided to use the traditional looking counters because usually when you move house, you don't take your counters with you. So maybe in the future, Lee and Henry will renovate the kitchen for it to look a bit more alike to the rest of the house. But for now, they will have to deal with the one that comes with this, with this house. The kitchen is also very dark, but I don't mind it too much. I also once again managed to decorate the kitchen pretty well. I think I'm really improving with the kitchens. I also put a table that could be like a breakfast table and once again I decided to use swatches that I would never use. I actually used the cats and dogs table and the chairs that came with seasons that look like they are made of branches. I actually never really used those chairs but once again this house was just the perfect place to do that. These are the only items that I think have been found at the flea market by Lee and he decided to put them here to eat in a more comfortable space, maybe in the morning or maybe just for a snack. 
And I will also put some pet items in this house even though, as of now in this series at least, Henry and Lee have no pets. I've been thinking though getting them a dog recently, or actually Henry has been having those whims about petting a dog, buying a pet toy, so I think he wants to get a dog. And I'm thinking getting them a little dog, like maybe a pug maybe, I'm not sure. So the items I will use will mainly be for dogs in this house, but we'll see once again if they actually get a dog or not in this series. Now I'm going back to the rooms I have already furnished to put the paintings on the walls, and I think it changes a lot the feel of this house. Especially in the living area since, as I said, I felt like this room was a little bit empty. I tried to use paintings that looked very artistic and creative, more like modern art. And I mainly placed paintings that came with Get Famous in City Living since these two packs had the exact style I wanted to go with. I was thinking that Lee received those paintings as gift maybe from students he has at the art center back in Newcrest, or maybe from fellow artists he works with. I also tried to make the paintings look like they weren't all hung up on the walls, as if Henry and Lee didn't take the time to hang them, them all up. And I think that helps a little bit to give this house a lived-in feel without feeling too cluttered. Although I think that, as we'll go along in the series, I might replace some of those paintings by paintings done by Lee or even by family pictures taken by Henry. They do have actually some wedding pictures that they would like to hang up on the walls rather than having a random painting instead, I think. Then I moved on to the sunroom, which ended up, as I said, being Lee's art studio, and I actually didn't put many items in this room. I only placed this floor mural and an easel, as well as a couple of artistic decorative items like empty canvas on the wall, and a dresser that's supposed to hold the paint and the paintbrushes, which I think is a reward item from the painter career. I will also place an easel outside for Lee to enjoy a bit the sun if he, if he feels like it. Other than that, this room is quite empty, but once again, through gameplay, I think this room will fill up a bit. I also struggle to figure out which light to go with because I didn't want to use a ceiling light since technically there is no ceiling per se in this room, so I wanted to use some neon lights. I tried the one that came with the Moschino stuff bag, but I didn't like it as well as the light bulbs that, you know, the light bulbs wall light that came with City Living. So in the end, I just went with the base game neon light. I don't know if Lee would like to paint under this light at night, so this might change a little in the series as we go along, as I said. I also thought putting a photo studio somewhere in the house, but I didn't really feel like that would be something very realistic, so I think Henry will have to wait for them to get an art gallery for him to finally get his photo studio. Then I moved on to the laundry room that doubled as a toilet, because there is only one bathroom in this house, so I thought that adding another toilet would come in handy in the future in the series. And I really enjoyed furnishing this room and I could see either Lee or Henry going in there and taking care of the laundry to enjoy a little bit of peace and quiet when their child would be running all around the place and screaming everywhere. I also decided to keep with this idea that most of the stuff in this room comes with the house and not from the flea market. Maybe the decorations on the wall do come from the flea market, like the medicine cabinet, or maybe the shelves that came with the laundry day stuff back and the stuff that are on it. And maybe the broom as well, and you know, this magazine holder that comes with the Parenthood game pack. Then I'm moving on upstairs and I start working on the master bedroom and I once again tried to use items that looked like they came from the flea market and that Lee renovated them. And I really like this bedroom. As per usual, it's not highly decorated, but bedrooms are very difficult for me, especially for adult sims, even if you know who you're making this bedroom for. As for the child's bedroom, I did struggle a little bit, but this time I decided not to use items that might have been reused and that might have come from the flea market. I decided to go for items that look new and modern because Henry and Lee want the best for their kid. And that bedroom ends up looking quite bland, but I still want to leave space for those of you who would like to download the house to decorate the room for your sims. And since, as I said, I would be deleting everything in the, in the child's bedroom for when Lee and Henry would be moving into this house, I didn't mind that much not decorating it too much. But then I will be moving on to the bathroom and I will finish on the home gym that will literally have four items in it. 
But that room was pretty small and I think that Henry will probably be the only one using it anyway. Although I was imagining that his child would be doing their homework while Henry would be working out. But anyway, that's pretty much all I had to say about this house, so if you want to download it for your own game, you will find a link to it in the description for the online gallery, but you will also find all of the information to download it in-game. I really hope you like this house, let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope that you will enjoy the rest of this video.